exciting. Um, well, not that exciting. Uh, it's lovely to see. I have to say, I didn't think it would be so busy tonight. I thought it would be quite quiet on such a miserable evening. Uh, I did a gig recently, which was that much more balanced, numbers-wise, between you there and me. <laughs> so this is, this is lovely. It was, uh, no, it was, it was fun, so it was all right. I came out of the tube at Camden, and... Uh, I was standing at the pedestrian crossing waiting to go to this, uh, uh, this theatre that I was doing on the pub. And, um, well, yeah, I had seats. And, um, and I was standing there at the pedestrian crossing, and I became aware of somebody sort of slightly invading my personal space, you know, a bit more close. And I turned around, and it was, uh, it was this blind bloke. And he, he wanted me to help him across the road, which was fine. And he, he took my arm in that kind of slightly needy way <laughs> that they have. And, um, and, um, don't tell him. And, um, and, and I have to say, I found his black Labrador uh, guide dog a much more attractive proposition. And I was bending down and stroking the dog and patting the dog's head, not really noticing what I was doing. So I said, I walked the man into a bollard. And, uh, and then I heard myself say, oh, even I didn't see that. Um, and then he was the one man in the audience that night. And, oh, what fun we all had. And so this is it's really lovely. Also, the other thing, I've been gigging around the country. I've got no material, uh, but I just let you know. But I'm, I have been uh, gigging around. I've got one to tell you about other gigs. And um, I was gigging around the country, and it's so nice to be back in London. Uh, last week, I was in Hastings, Sheffield, and Rotherham. And, and the thing about Hastings, if you don't know Hastings, Hastings got two main facts about it. <laughs> what if that's what you want? And um, already, within minutes, suicide, Harry Kieran now. And uh, no, not suicide actually. One is um, uh, I can open the personal tragic story for it. Suicide! Um, no, one, there was a battle there a thousand years ago, which actually never took place there. There's a place down the road called Battle, which is obviously a much better place to name for such a thing. And secondly, it's where the government dumps all the paedophiles when they're released from prison. It's not smashing time. And um, so that was, that was Sheffield. Uh, that was Hastings, rather. And then I was in uh, Sheffield and Rotherham. Uh, Sheffield and Rotherham, mm, bring out your dead. So, uh, it's, it's, and then another gig, I look at the front row, you see, I, I do all of you, even the boys, and um, I, no, I did this gig recently where uh, I was standing outside having a cigarette beforehand, this was over in London Bridge, and uh, one of those, you know you see them everywhere now, those sort of enormous, sort of eight-wheeled, uh, uh, sort of American limo, there's huge American limos, white limos, and you see them everywhere, uh, but there's still a bit of me, rather pathetically, that goes, oh, someone's in town. <laughs> and um, so this enormous limo pulled up outside this comedy club I was playing at. Oh, who's this guy? Anyway, out of the car got these kind of like sort of six girls. They're sort of sweet about, sort of on very high heels. They're sort of quite young, like 18 or 9. We can't, what they were like. They, were, they, they, they looked like they were like that sort of, um, do you remember that uh, Chantel of uh, Celebrity Big Brother last year? Uh, but obviously without the searing first for knowledge, um, <laughs> or long words, and um, anyway, I thought, I wonder where they're going, slags, and, uh, and, and they turned out they were coming in the comedy club, and I'm like, they made an absolute beeline for the front row, because obviously they'd come in to fall and work out where they could get their best mobile phone signals, so they're all like, technically, they like, oh, shit, so, um, but no, anyway, so these all love, oh, I tell you what, I just wanted to read you this, what have I done with this, um, this one, I had to copy this out, because I've lost the original, this one, you know when you think about those free pay like Metro and uh, uh, London Life, and they had this column, like this one seat column, you know what you know, you're walking down the road and you see somebody who gives you a bit of a chubby, and uh, so you sort of think, and you sort of think, not girl necessarily, but, um, and you see, well how do I get in touch with them again, because I really like the look of them, I know what, I'll put an ad in the free paper, and, uh, and, and of course they will see that, and, um, and this one, this is absolutely true, uh, Victoria, this was a couple of weeks ago, and I've lost it, I've had to copy that, it says, um, Thursday morning, Victoria line, between Brixton and Pimlico, you, Beautiful, dark, soulful eyes, wearing burqa. <laughs> <laughs> Me, biker in leathers, tattoos on face. <laughs> I kept smiling. Don't know if you were. <laughs> 
fancy a drink? I think we know the answer to that one already, don't we, really? I hope it's met up with her. That was like, anyway, so there we go. It's a sad point. Uh, 